This is part 2 of the genesis of Rags Riches. Perhaps you already knew the story of Joseph the Dreamer, son of Jacob. But let's focus on the principles of how he became prosperous from Rags Riches. Joseph was the most beloved son of Jacob. Jacob made a rich robe just for him. His other brothers became very jealous of him. Moreover, they become more jealous when Joseph told them his dreams. His dreams show that his family will treat him as a higher authority. The family's responses to Joseph indicate that they have an idea of how to interpret dreams. So one day, the brothers of Joseph were so jealous that they wanted to kill him. Instead of killing Joseph, they decided to sell him to the Midianite or Ishmaelite merchants. Joseph is their brother after all. His brothers sold him for 20 shekels of silver. From this situation, we can say that negative experiences are part of God's plan in order to make Joseph's dreams come true. Joseph became a slave at that time. Joseph went below rags from a well-off family. Life can be difficult at times, but you should put your trust in God despite of pain, suffering, and promise. Potiphar bought Joseph as a slave. With the help of God, Joseph prospered and became successful. Potiphar appointed Joseph as a manager of his household. God blessed the household of the Egyptian, both in the house and in the field. Joseph's only concern was food. Here we learn that prayer and maintaining relationship with God is very important despite our bad circumstances. We must always stay humble. One day, Joseph was tempted by Potiphar's wife. She caught Joseph by the cloak and falsely accused him of attempted rape. Potiphar sent him into prison. Bad things happen to good people. Temptations do happen. Despite all of this, we must never lose our determination. Always pray that God will keep us away from temptations. In prison, God made Joseph succeed. The prison warden made him the manager of prisoners. There he met the cupbearer and the baker of Pharaoh. He interpreted their dreams and made friends with them. The cupbearer has a favorable interpretation, while the baker has an unfavorable interpretation. He made a pact with the cupbearer to help him get out of prison. On the third day, it was Pharaoh's birthday and the interpretation of the dreams came true. However, the cupbearer forgot about Joseph. God, however, did not forget Joseph. After two years in prison, Pharaoh had a dream. None of the magicians and wise men of Egypt can interpret Pharaoh's dream. Notice the time of when God takes action after Joseph's prayer. Yes. God does it in a long time when other people are involved. So don't be too hasty if God doesn't answer your prayers immediately. You have to be very patient and persevering when praying to God. After Pharaoh spoke of his dream, the cupbearer remembered Joseph. They have him shaved and brought to Pharaoh. Joseph acknowledged that only God can interpret dreams. Joseph told Pharaoh the meaning of his dream. Pharaoh appointed him as second in command of all Egypt. He gave Joseph the name of Zaphenat Phania and gave him Asenath with his wife. Joseph is 30 years old at this time. He collected all the grain during the years of plenty and stored it in cities. Before the years of famine, two sons were born to Joseph. One was named Manasseh because God made him forget all his troubles and his fam father's family. Another was named Ephraim because God made him fruitful in the land of his suffering. This was Joseph's story 
from rags to riches. What can we learn from this? We learn that our relationship with God is very important. We must always pray and ask for God's help. We must never give up despite our troubles, suffering, and negative experiences. Bad things may happen because it is part of God's plan. Always stay humble and don't be arrogant. Have patience and love God all the time. Develop and improve your talents and abilities so when the right time comes, you are ready to show your capability. These are the principles you need to succeed from rags to riches.